Welcome to the NetSuite order to cash process. We will walk through the seamless creation of an invoice from a sales order to item fulfillment and customer payment. This is a purpose-built dashboard created specifically for a sales role. It leverages years of leading practices and contains reminders, shortcuts, and key metrics necessary for me to perform my job. From my home dashboard, I will navigate to the sales order transaction form. Here, I will select my customer and choose the items being purchased using the drop-down menu on the item line of the sales order. Then I can select the various items to be purchased. I'll select an iPad Pro. Notice that the description and rates are all populated with the item details created on the item record. NetSuite also supports customer-specific pricing and group price levels. With the items entered, we'll move to the Billing sub-tab. You can see that the payment terms and billing addresses are pre-populated using the data from the customer record. NetSuite supports multiple shipping and billing addresses and will retain the historical addresses from the sales order and invoice transactions. NetSuite is PCI compliant and has multiple merchant providers that allow for credit card processing right there in your NetSuite system. I will now save this sales order. With the sales order entry complete, I'll move to the warehouse role where I can now fulfill the items on the sales order. By using the search bar, I navigate directly to the sales order that was just created. For demonstration purposes, I'm going directly into the sales order we previously generated and finding the button Fulfill. After clicking, I will be taken to the fulfillment record for all inventory items requiring shipment. In this example, we have the Pick, Pack, Ship function turned on for proper checks and balances. As this goes through the warehousing processes, I can track each step of fulfillment through the completion of packing and shipping. We can also automate some of these processes to automatically happen when triggered. Depending on my preferences, I can have an automatic email notification sent out to my customer indicating that the sales order has been fulfilled. Now that the sales order has been fulfilled, I am ready to invoice this customer. I will switch roles to a controller. Notice as I navigate into the sales order, the buttons have changed and I can now bill the customer. Note that the invoice is now being generated for the customer. I have the option to email the invoice, mail it, accept a payment right away, or even create a credit memo depending on what the business requirements and processes are. Let's return to the sales order and we'll see that it has been invoiced and is now showing as billed. On the Related Records sub-tab, I have full visibility into the fulfillment and invoicing associated with the sales order transaction. Now, let's move to the final and arguably the most important step in the process, receiving a payment. Payments can be made directly here from the customer record. Once I type the amount of the payment, it can be either auto-applied to the oldest invoice or individually selected. Any necessary discounts can be taken at the line level and posted to the defined GL account. Now going back to my sales orders and the related record subtab, we can see the invoice is marked paid in full. Thank you for watching. For more information, reach out to your account executive.